This video is sick. DJ, drop that sick beat. Many of us owe our lives to modern medicine. Because of it, diseases that used to spell certain death are now preventable, treatable, or even curable. What's wrong, Doug? That's another thing. Ever seen a period movie where someone develops a serious case of red eyeliner and coughs fake blood into a hanky? That's a reenactment of tuberculosis, the lung disease that caused one out of seven American deaths in 1892. It's transmitted when an infected person coughs or sneezes. Effervescing bodily fluids containing Mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria into the air. If those droplets get into your mucous membranes, you can get infected. Antibiotics and sanitation have quashed TB in modernized countries. Treatment and containment efforts are making a dent in developing nations too. The worldwide death rate from TB dropped 45% between 1990 and 2012. If you're ever bitten by a mammal that may not be vaccinated against rabies, hustle to a hospital with haste. You don't want to take a chance. Rabies is very treatable as long as it's caught before the virus attacks the central nervous system, which can cause delirium and death. Early medical care, including vaccination and antibodies that your body can use until the vaccine kicks in, keeps the U.S. death toll at two to three people per year. The bubonic plague killed more than 75 million people in the 1300s. But the Black Death isn't history. Over 10,000 people contracted it in the Congo alone from 2000 to 2009. In the US, 56 people caught the plague during that same period, and seven died. Good sanitation curtails its spread by infected fleas and rats. And antibiotics cure it fast, but again, early treatment is key. If the Yersinia pestis bacteria that cause it reach the lungs, it can become the often fatal pneumonic plague. As recently as the 1940s, the leading cause of death among U.S. women was cervical cancer, which is basically always triggered by cellular changes caused by human papillomavirus infection. But there was a 60% decline in both cervical cancer incidence and death rates in the U.S. between 1955 and 1992. It's all thanks to two tests. The Papanicolaou, or PAP test, looks for those cellular changes. The HPV DNA test checks whether you have HPV, and if so, whether it's one of the virulent strains. And now, the HPV vaccine can altogether prevent infection by some strains of the virus. Sadly, many life-saving treatments aren't always available in developing nations. Public health organizations are fighting the good fight, but we're a long way from stamping out some diseases, like tuberculosis, AIDS, and malaria. But hey, if modern medicine were a person, what would you think it for? Let us know in the comments! And to learn more, like how humanity is battling AIDS and malaria, check out our article, 10 Diseases That Used To Be Death Sentences, on HowStuffWorks.com. That's a reenactment of tuberculosis, the lung disease that caused one out of seven American deaths in 1982. <laughs> in 1982, that happened.